Hi, my name is Natalie, and today we are with Beatriz Torres from Legal Life. She has more than 15 years of experience as an attorney and notary in Mexico. Beatriz has a master's in fiscal and tax law and has closed more than 10,000 contracts related to real estate in Quintana Roo. She has clients all over the world. She not only represents you at the closing table, but also helps you stay compliant year over year with anything related to your property here. Thank you so much, Beatriz. It's a pleasure. Hello, Natalie. A pleasure to be here with you today. Thank you for choosing us as your legal partner. And I hope that we can answer all of your legal questions regarding buying real estate in Quintana Roo. Our first question is, how do we buy a property in Mexico? Well, first of all, Natalie, the client would have to pick a property. After that, we submit an offer letter to the owner. Once the offer is accepted, way the attorneys move in and we review all the information and we make sure the property is in good standing and approved for an international buyer. Once we give the okay, we draw up the contract with the buyer and seller terms and conditions of the purchase. That's when we give the earnest money in good faith. Our second question is, what are the legal steps that we need to follow to purchase a property in Mexico? Well, here in Quintana Roo, all international buyers only have two methods to obtain a property. First is through a fideocomiso, and the second one is by forming a company or an LLC. Our third question is, what is a fideicomiso and what is it for? A fideicomiso is a trust. It's done through the bank and they represent you for the specific property. Bear in mind that this is not a mortgage. Our fourth question is, how long does it take to create a fideicomiso? How much is it? And how often do we have to renew it? As an international buyer, you're required to have a fideicomiso for each property. Now, a fideicomiso takes approximately 15 days to create. We would request a permit from the government to allow the international buyer to obtain the property. This permit is a one-time fee of about $1,400 that would be part of, like, say, your closing cost here. This fideicomiso is attached to the specific property only. Once that's established, the annual fee is approximately $500 to about $600 per year. As we know, we all have to pay taxes. But what is the yearly property tax rate for properties in Mexico? Here we have the Impuesto Predial, which is the annual property taxes. This tax is based on the property value and the current rate is 0.0017%. For example, a home valued at $100,000, your property tax would be $170 per year. And if you paid on time, there is a discount. Like in the U.S., I'm sure there are closing costs involved. What are the attorney fees that we need to allocate to closing costs? On the buyer side, the rate for closing costs is 7% of the value of the property. Our last question is, what are the steps we can take to avoid being victims of fraud? First of all, do not give any money up front in order to see a property. Any escrow money should be paid only once an attorney has reviewed the documents and gives you the okay. Also, be careful of all the properties advertised online, which may have very attractive prices, but in reality, these properties may not exist or might be just from sketchy developers or contractors. So please do your research about who you buy a property through. Thanks for your help, Beatriz. Those are the only questions we have today. I'm sure more will come as we do these interviews, but thank you so much for your time. On the contrary, thank you, Natalie. And I hope that I was able to answer all of your questions and concerns, and we will continue to be here to help. Please leave any additional questions or comments in the box below. I'm attorney Beatriz Torres representing Legal Life. We have our offices in Tulum and Playa del Carmen, and it's my pleasure to assist you. Any further questions, contact us through Unicorn Properties website. Thank you.